breaking news. Authorities seeking to learn more about Whitney Heichel's murder, and we are learning more about her suspected killer as we get our first look, not only at the suspect in court, but the actual court documents. Yes, and we just got that document into the newsroom. Lisa Balick now standing by with details on what it says. Lisa. Jenny, yes, we just got this minutes ago from the sheriff's office, and the probable cause summary from the sheriff's office says Jonathan Holt admitted under questioning to a state police sergeant on Friday details of Whitney's murder and that he sexually assaulted her. Now, in the probable cause statement, it says he waited outside her apartment on Tuesday, October 16th. Remember, that was the day she disappeared. He asked her for a ride. He did know her. Then, once he got in the car, he pulled a gun on her very quickly. He says then he forced her to drive to Roslyn Lake near Sandy and then sexually assaulted her there. He then shot and killed her, then took her body to Larch Mountain, where it was later found by searchers. Again, this information just in. Holt also says in it that he tossed his cell phone out at Roslyn Lake after the killing, and according to the information, that cell phone was found there. Now, the probable cause statement also says the state crime lab got DNA samples from the steering wheel of Whitney's car and that it matches Holtz. Now, Whitney died of four gunshot wounds. Again, this is just in from the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Jonathan Holt admitting to killing and sexually assaulting Whitney Heichel. Reporting for you, Lisa Balick, Coin Local 6. Lisa, as those court documents were released, the suspect, Jonathan Holt, was in court for the first time this afternoon, and we're learning more about his past. Our team coverage continues. Casey Montoya is live at Whitney's apartment complex, but first, Ken Body is standing by at the Clackamas County Courthouse. Ken. Jonathan Holt was arraigned this afternoon on seven counts of aggravated murder. As you just heard from Lisa's report, we learned today that Whitney Heichel died of multiple gunshot wounds and that she was sexually assaulted before or during the murder. Jonathan Holt, just 24 years old, faces seven counts of aggravated murder in the death of 21-year-old Whitney Heichel. Heichel's body was found on Larch Mountain in Multnomah County on Friday. She was reported missing Tuesday after she never arrived for work at a Gresham Starbucks. The medical examiner says she was shot multiple times. Holt and Heichel were neighbors at the same apartment complex in Gresham and also Jehovah's Witnesses, occasionally encountering each other at church. Court documents indicate Whitney was robbed and sodomized before she was killed. Holt said nothing during his arraignment. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. At this point, I would take that, you know, he was sincere, or what looked like he was sincere, and I hope he is very sorry for what he did, but I still think he should um, deserve what he gets um, in time in jail if he is proven guilty. Holt is being held in the Clackamas County Jail without bail. His next court appearance is October 26th. And we didn't see any members of the Heiko family in court today during that video arraignment. Reporting for you live in Oregon City, Ken Body, Coin Local 6. Ken, thank you. And once again, we are learning more about that suspect, That's Jonathan Holt. Right. And Casey Montoya is live in Gresham with a closer look at Holt. And Casey, what have you found? Well, everyone's been asking, Jenny, what's the connection between the two? Now, we know they were neighbors, and we know they went to the same Jehovah's Witness church, but today, that congregation in Gresham releasing a statement making it clear Jonathan Holt was not a regular member. He seemed like a normal guy. He didn't seem like anything special. Jonathan Holt's next-door neighbor describing him and his wife the same way many others who live near him have. Even the girl, she was quiet. They say he was quiet and kept to himself. Neighbors who watched Holt grow up say the same thing. At first, I said, nah, that can't be Jonathan, you know, because, you know, like I said, I, you know, I would never expect anything like this. The 24-year-old graduated from Park Rose in 2006 and got married in 2010. The Holts and Heichels lived in the same apartment complex, and Holt attended some of the same meetings with the Heichels at this Jehovah's Witness church in Gresham. But the church is distancing themselves from Holt, releasing a statement Monday morning underlying the fact that Holt was an irregular attendee of their meetings, saying Jonathan's wife is too an innocent victim, and our love and support is as strong for her and her family. This morning, Whitney's husband Clint appeared on television saying he and Whitney took care of Holt's cats and plants while he was away. And two weeks ago, Clint helped him jumpstart his motorcycle. Gresham police say last summer Holt's wife filed a missing persons report when Holt disappeared, but other than that, he has no police record. A fact that attorney Bruce McCain says will weigh in when Holt faces a judge. And if this does end up going to a full-blown trial, 
and he's convicted of aggravated murder, I frankly have a hard time, in spite of the brutal murder, that a jury would sentence this 25-year-old to death. There's three options for aggravated murder, death, life without parole, and life imprisonment. While, Hor while Holt was in court this afternoon, there's been a lot of community support here in Gresham. Dutch Bros Coffee donating half of all their sales to the Heichel family. And the Starbucks where Whitney worked, they're still collecting their tips and donating them to Heichel's family as well. Reporting for you live in Gresham, Casey Montoya, Quinn Local 6. Casey, thank you.